Do these solar charging panels even work? Is the Blabber solar charging bank even worth buying? How many charges will I even get? Well, the answer is... What is up, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesse, and today we are going to be reviewing the 20,000 milliamp hour Blabber solar power charging bank. Let's get right into it. Make sure you watch till the very end because I'm going to be going over a lot of great info. Full disclosure, Blabber did not ask me to make this video, and this video is not sponsored in any way. These are my thoughts, my views, and my experiences. And before I bought this product, I had a lot of questions about it. So here I am today sharing all of that great info with you. So right off the bat, the first question that you guys might have is, how long does it take these solar panels to fully charge this power bank going from 0% to 100%? Well, according to an Amazon response directly from the seller, it can take anywhere from 18 to 20 hours from no power to full power under the light intensity of 25,000 LUX, which is basically a fancy way of saying indirect sunlight with no clouds, no overcast, and pretty much a direct line of sight from the sun to the solar panels. I tested it myself to see how accurate it was, and mine actually took about 30 hours for it to go from 0% to 100%. Now this did charge over the course of a Monday through Friday from about 9.30 a.m. in the morning to about 3.30, 4pm in the evening in Arizona in mid-July, which means it's monsoon season. So there was actually quite a bit of time where there was a lot of clouds out and about, which means this thing wasn't in direct sunlight the majority of the time, but I have no doubt in my mind if there was direct sunlight the entire time, this definitely would have charged a lot sooner. Nonetheless, it is still pretty cool knowing that you can harness the power of the sun to charge this bad boy, but don't get carried away. This will not replace the power outlets in your home. Its main purpose is just to kind of give you that extra boost of battery juice when you're on the go, or hey, even if you're stuck in a survival situation and you just need that additional power to charge your phone so you can make a phone call. Now to kind of give you guys an idea of how much power is truly packed into this bad boy, let's listen to some of my field tested experiments. So the first test I did was on my Motorola Z2 Force, and that has a battery which holds up to 2,730 milliamp hours, and I was actually able to get just over eight charges on that thing. And when I say eight charges, I mean eight charges from about five to 10%, all the way up to 90 to 95%, so pretty cool. Now on my GoPro Hero 6 with a 1,220 milliamp hour battery, I was actually able to get over 15 charges. Well, just a hair over 15 charges. Spoiler alert, this is only the GoPro Hero 5 because I'm using the GoPro Hero 6 to make this video. But they use the same battery anyway. But heck, to get 15 charges on a fully charged power bank, that's pretty amazing. Now for anyone out there that has the DJI Mavic Mini Flymore combo pack, each battery is about 2,400 milliamp hours. And I was actually able to charge all three batteries in the power dock from 0% all the way to 100%. And that pretty much took up the entire power bank. So I was only able to do it once. Full disclosure guys, the power bank definitely did charge my batteries, but it definitely seemed like it took them a lot longer than it would have been if I would have just plugged them into the wall. And in fact, I found an article online on forum.dji.com that said the following. To ensure normal charging without damaging the batteries, please use the official micro USB charger and two-way hub to charge the battery. I personally haven't noticed any difference or any damage in my batteries at all or in the battery life itself. All I know is they keep my batteries charged when I need them, so I'm going to continue to use it. Now right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I'm no mathematician when it comes to milliamp hours, voltage, or conversion rates, and I can't tell you exactly how many charges you're going to get on your devices when it comes to this power bank, but I do hope that this does kind of give you an idea of how much power this baby can hold. Alright guys, so that is pretty impressive to know that I can get that many charges on my electronics when this thing is charged to full capacity. Alright guys, so now we're going to dive in a little closer and take a look at some of the physical attributes about this power bank. So this is the box that it comes in right here. Blaver, Pretty cool box. So upon first glance, it definitely does have a strong, durable look to it, and it feels that way too. What you're going to get in the box is the power bank, a USB-C charging cord, a compass with a carabiner clip, and of course the four detachable solar panels. And they're super easy to take on and off too. I'll show you real quick. So you basically just roll out the solar panels, remove the magnetic holding rod, and that's pretty much there just to make sure it doesn't come unhinged so easily. This part here is magnetic as well too, so it just makes it more convenient when attaching and detaching. No screws involved. Now this model right here does come equipped with the wireless Qi charging feature, and it works great, and I know it does because I read a lot of great reviews on Amazon. Unfortunately, I just don't have anything compatible to charge this. But if I do, I'll make an updated video later on, I'll let you guys know, but from what I've heard about it, it works really, really well. Now one of my favorite features about this power bank is it does come with a built-in flashlight with three different modes. So if you hold the button down on the side for about two seconds, that will activate the main flashlight. And I use this one quite a bit when I'm camping or when I'm just trying to blind my wife when she's coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Press the button once more and that will activate the SOS beacon. Probably most beneficial if you were aboard the SS Minnow or if you find yourself in a Tom Hanks situation, just like in the movie Castaway. 
anyway. And then if you press it a third time, that will actually activate the strobe light, which is probably gonna be most beneficial if you're on acid and at a rave. Just my opinion. The power bank does come with the compass as well. And you know what, to be honest, when the compasses look like this, I never really had a whole lot of faith in them, so I don't even bother. But the carabiner clip that's attached to it actually does come in handy when I'm out on a long hike. Because what you can actually do is pull the little flap down here on the power bank, and you can actually attach the carabiner clip to it. And I actually attach this to the back of my backpack sometimes, like I said, when I'm out on a long hike, or if I'm on a bike ride or something like that, so it comes quite a bit in handy. On the top here, guys, if you actually pull off the rubber cover, damn it, you will actually see two USB outputs, meaning that you can charge up to two devices at once. And this next part, I think is genius engineering. It actually has two charging USB inputs, meaning that you can actually charge it via micro USB or USB-C as well. So pretty awesome. All right, guys, so one key element I almost forgot to include in the video was to explain the blue charging LEDs on the side here. When they are blinking like this, that basically just means that it is receiving a charge, whether from being plugged into the wall or from the solar panels. Now, when they are all solid blue, that basically just means that it is 100% charged. And this little green LED that you see right here, that basically just indicates that it is receiving solar power, or in this case, power from the ring light I do have above this thing. But when you do block out the light, just like this, it goes off, so no more solar power. And then if you take it off, boom, more solar power. So just wanted to make sure I went through that with you guys. And that, my friends, will actually segue into our next question, which is, how long does this thing take to charge when it's plugged into a wall? Well, you know what? That's a damn good question, and I'm going to tell you. So I put this baby to the test twice. I plugged it in at 0% and charged it all the way up to 100%, and both times it took about roughly 8 hours for it to fully charge. To be honest, I really wasn't expecting it to take that long to charge, but you know what? What it returns versus what it takes, well worth it because it still provides me a lot of power. Now on the other hand, if I do have a long road trip planned or something, what I'll do before I leave the next day is I'll plug this baby in before I go to bed, and by the time I wake up, it's pretty much at 100% and ready to go. But if I do go a little hard the night before and I'm a little hungover and I forget to charge it, no worries. I'll just pop this baby on the dashboard of my car or just let it sit out on a picnic table where it's really sunny and let it gain power. Now it will take a little bit of time, but you know, some power is always better than no power. All right guys, time for a quick fun fact. I found this on the Amazon post. According to a question that was asked and answered, does this thing have a water resistant rating? Well, the answer is yes, it does. It is water resistant slash splash proof, but should never immerse it in water or any other liquid. It is okay for water droplets splashing down on the item, but it cannot be taken underwater or submerged in water without the fear of getting the product damaged. So keep that in mind and just take good care of it. All right guys, so so far in this video, we talked features, we talked specs, we talked about solar charging panels. So that begs the million dollar question. Is this 20,000 milliamp hour blaver solar charging power bank worth buying? Well, I gotta say, yes. I mean, what you can get out of this thing on one full charge, it's quite mind blowing. And if I'm gonna be honest, I think it actually charges my electronics a lot faster than their original chargers. That's saying something. Now there's no doubt, if you're like me and you love to travel, then I would definitely say that this power bank is definitely well worth buying. And don't worry, I created a shortcut for you, so if you do click the link down in the description, somewhere below there, that will take you right to the listing, and you can purchase it right there. Also guys, real quick, I just wanted to go over a couple other scenarios where I found this power bank to be very, very helpful. Ever been to an airport and you're looking for a seat that's right next to a power outlet, and it's taken because some teenager's charging their phone or their laptop or their tablet? It sucks. I know. I've been there. Then you have to sit in a random space in the hallway and sit or stand until, like, your device is charged? It sucks. I know it. With this power bank, you never have to worry about trying to find a place to sit next to a power outlet ever again. Just plug in your phone, your tablet, or your iPad, and guess what? You're good to go. So, that's a win right there. There was also another day a few weeks ago where I was getting ready to sit out on my patio and watch a storm that was coming in. Again, I live in Arizona. It was a pretty big storm. I was just going to sit out there for a few minutes and listen to some music as I saw the storm rolling in. But then I looked at my phone and I saw there was only like 12% left. And my first thought was, damn it, now I got to go back inside, let my phone charge for at least a half hour so I can get enough battery life so I can go out there and play music. But then it dawned on me, I don't have to because I have a power bank. So I just brought the power bank out there and boom, I was listening to music. Super helpful. All right, guys, so that is my review on the 20,000 milliamp hour solar charging power bank by Blaver. If you thought this video was useful, definitely let me know in the comment section down below and smash that like button. All the support helps. 
If you do have any questions about this as well too, feel free to let me know and ask me in the comments section down below. I would be more than happy to reply to any and all of those questions. And as I said before guys, if you do want to purchase the solar charging power bank, I will post the link down in the description below so that way it will take you directly to the site. Other than that, my name is Jesse and my channel name is Jesse's Drone Adventures. Every week I bring you scenic, historic, and abandoned places to visit in Arizona. And every once in a while I like to do a tech video on the gear that I use behind the scenes to make these videos. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week. Take care.